Hi everybody, Pastor Vince here. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Life Lifters. Our whole purpose for Life Lifters is to give your life a lift through a five minute blast of encouragement and scripture. I don't know about you, but I need joy pick-me-ups. I need to remember why I can be joyful no matter what. And that's what I want to talk to you about, joy no matter what. It's kind of the theme that uh, I'm kind of um, using to carry these uh, next few Life Lifters. And we're getting it from the book of joy, the book of Philippians. And I want to talk to you about this fact. You can be joyful no matter what. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you can be joyful no matter what? If you doubt me, let me give you a couple um, statements that may help you. I don't believe you can be happy no matter what. I believe it's impossible to always be happy. What I believe is that it's always possible to be joyful. Because happiness depends on circumstances outside of you. Joy depends on God's work inside of you. Can't change the circumstances outside of you. Therefore, you can't always be happy. But you can always turn to and rely on God's work within you. And that is what joy is and where joy comes from. And I get this because the Apostle Paul, when he wrote Philippians, he wrote it from a Roman prison around 60 AD. And I find it ironic that if I was in prison, the last thing I'd be doing was, would be writing an epistle, if God led me to, um, and have it be centered on joy. I had it be centered on suffering for the Lord, suffering for Jesus. But the Apostle Paul, he was incontagibly, uncontainably joyful. And I get that from Philippians 1, 12 to 14 and verse 18. Look at what he says. He says, now... I want you to know, brothers, remember he's writing to the church, the Christians at Philippi, hence Philippians. I want you to know, brothers or Philippians, that what has happened to me, that is my imprisonment here in Rome, has really served to advance the gospel. See, he didn't focus on circumstances out here. He focused on the gospel, which was what God wanted him to do, the work he wanted him to do in here. The happy part wasn't there. The joy part was. Verse 13, as a result... It has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. In other words, look, I don't like being in chains for Christ. I don't like being in prison. I'm not happy about it, but I'm joyful about it because now everybody knows why I'm in prison, why I'm in chains. I'm in chains for Christ. And he says that's exciting. Look what he says in the next verse, verse 14. Because of my chains, most of the brothers in the Lord have been encouraged to speak the word of God more courageously and fearlessly. In other words, he's saying, because I'm willing to suffer for Christ, a couple things that are happening. happening. Um, number one, people who are not yet Christians are seeing Paul in chains for his faith in Christ, which must have been a bold uh, witness to these people saying, wow, he loves Jesus so much, he's willing to go to prison for it. What's his faith about? And I'm sure it helped him have an opportunity to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus with others. Then he said it also encouraged those who are already convinced to share their faith more. And that's why he says in verse 18b, he goes, um, and because of this, I rejoice. He says, no matter, he goes on to say, no matter what your motives are in sharing the gospel, at least it's getting out there. And so Paul said, look, outside what's happening to me, happiness, don't have that. Inside what's happening to me, because the gospel is getting out to more people and the people who are already Christians are helping get it out even further, that I rejoice in. So here's what I want to say. You can be joyful no matter what because God has given you unconditional joy. He hasn't given you unconditional happiness. He doesn't promise happiness, but he does promise joy. Are you ready for that? Joy no matter what. I love being joyful and happy. That's a double win. But you know what? Even if I'm not happy, I can go and I can be at peace with myself saying, I got to find the joy that the Lord has given me. He's given you joy. Have you gotten down on yourself? Have you gotten down on life? Are you unhappy? Stop trying to be happy. Let God take care of that. Do what you can do because you can control joy because joy is a choice because God's already given you that joy. You just got to turn yourself over to that joy. Let's pray. Father, I don't know what people are going through. I don't know what rustlings they might have. I don't know what threats to their joy are coming their way. And I pray that um, you'll help them stop uh, the losing battle to always be happy. 
but instead put that energy to fill their life with the joy which is always available in you, in their heart, through faith in Jesus. Encourage them now. Fill them with joy indescribable and incomprehensible. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, be joyful no matter what. You can do it because of Christ in you. Have a great day.